My postcard today is from Bowness on Windermere in the county of Westmoreland. The exhibition here in Bowness telling the tales of Beatrix Potter is the work of designers, sculptors, artists and technicians better known for their theatrical stage sets at the National and Royal Shakespeare Theatres. Beatrix was born in 1866 and her links with Windermere began 16 years later when she came on holiday. When she was 39 she moved to a farmhouse in Sorry, a village just over the border in Lancashire. Jemima Puddle Duck is a very silly duck who tries to hatch her own eggs in the back of a woodshed belonging to a whiskered gentleman. Here, he even asks her to get some sage and onions. And she doesn't suspect a thing. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle in her lovely clean kitchen where a little girl called Lucy finds her lost pocket handkerchief. And Tommy Brock the Badger, a very disagreeable gentleman. Mr. Brock always wears grubby clothes and goes to bed in his boots. Flopsy, sister of Peter Rabbit, marries Benjamin Bunny, Peter's cousin, and they have six children known as the Flopsy Bunnies. There they are. That's Benjamin Bunny trying on a tam o and jacket. And Peter Rabbit, the rabbit that started this whole thing off becoming one of the most famous children's characters in the world. The Tale of Peter Rabbit is undoubtedly the most famous book by the author. And Jeremy Fisher, fishing for minnows for a dinner party, he's having for his friends Mr. Alderman Ptolemy Tortoise and Sir Isaac Newton. That's Ribby the cat baking a mouse pie, which Duchess the dog swapped secretly for her veal and ham pie. Ribby thinks she'd swallowed the patty pan, and Dr. Maggoty the magpie is called. It all ends happily, though. Squirrel Nutkin is a tale about a tail. Squirrel Nutkin is lazy, impertinent, and doesn't respect the wise old owl Mr. Brown. He learns eventually, but not before being nearly skinned alive, and he's lucky to lose only half his tail.